Hello everyone, I'm Said Mandegar. Welcome back to yet another tutorial. So great to have you here. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to fix the texture tiling for large areas so it doesn't look like repeated hundreds of times. Also, you can consider this episode as the second part of this placement tutorial that I show you how to create 3D terrain with Google Maps in 3D's Max. Alright, as you see here, now the texture is just repeating due to the texture tiling. Basically, all the textures are limited in size, so you need to repeat them in order to cover the whole area. But it will look like this. Fixing this problem is not a big deal. Let me show you. This is the map I'm using. You can use any maps you have on your hard drive. And this is the material that I made using these textures. If you really like to learn how to make realistic PBR materials, click on the interactive card I put up in here. And also I made this to make a better displacement on my plane using V-Ray displacement mod. Anyway, let me go to my camera and show you how would it look before I fix the texture tiling. As you see, it's just repeating and it's so obvious that this type of visualization are far from professional works. We have to fix that and there are different ways to do it. I'm gonna show you the fastest way to do that. Alright, I just create a V-Ray UVW randomizer map and assign it to all the maps I use for making this material. So it means from now on I control the texture tiling with this map instead of adjusting every map's texture tiling in their coordination tab. Once I add this, nothing really happens. All tilings are still the same as before. But as soon as I enable stochastic tiling, it starts to randomize the texture tiling system. Let me take a new render to show you the difference. This is before, and this is after adding V-Ray randomizer map to my material. It's amazing. As you see, it repeated the texture randomly, so it doesn't look like it's repeated. I'm gonna explain you how it works and show you some more options of this map. Alright, I create a V-Ray material first and then add a map to assign the texture. And lastly, a V-Ray UV randomizer map. And in the UV tab, you can control the scale of your material and also rotate it. Let me join it to the map. But I'm gonna change the tiling to express more on repetition of the map. As you see, it's just repeating. So what V-Ray UV randomizer map does is actually break the reputation by rotating and randomizing the map position. Just enable stochastic tiling and see the result. So now you see what exactly happens when you assign this map to your material. If you notice, each tile blends with another and you can control that blend amount. Sometimes it needs to be blended more to hide the texture's edge. To do that, you need to change the number of tile blend. Zero means no blending. I think it looks poor cause we are trying to solve tiling issue, but if you reduce it down to zero, it actually shows the tiling in other ways.
and if you set 0.5 it blends everything together so you can't see the texture clearly anymore. I suggest something close to zero cause all we want is to avoid having the textures edge. Just a little blend is okay. I'm gonna assign my material to the plane again and take the final render. That's it for me guys, hope you like this one. Please hit that like button if it was helpful and subscribe to my channel and click on that bell to be notified about the next video. See you in the next video. Have fun!